Go. Hi, I'm John Henry from Biowall Shooting Ground, and I'm here to show you how to take the triggers out of an MX-8 Parazzi. So that's any Parazzi which the triggers come out of. The easiest way to tell is on the triggers. The safety has a straight little back and forward safety catch, and those models generally the triggers come out of. Right, taking the triggers out on your, your safety catch, if it's an MX-8, it's just a straight back and forward. Safety's got basically three positions, so all the way back when it's on safe, take the trigger out, you push it forward, then it has a little bit more travel, a little bit of spring there. You push it forward, and then with the other hand, pull it out at the back and it kind of rolls around. Okay, nice and slow there. And if you look into the action, there's a little button here. And basically that safety catch, when you push that forward, it makes this little button disappear and come back. And that just locates in the back of the trigger group. So you've got a tongue in the front holding it in. You can see that there. And the button in the back. So all new Parazzi's, MX-8s, all come with a spares kit. And if you're buying a second-hand one, you really try and want to get a spares kit as well. So the spares kit consists of two main springs, two firing pin, two firing pin return springs, which are just them tiny little springs there. Um, you get a key to take the springs out and a, a little technical rod here, which I'll show you what that does. Um, the springs are handed. And the easiest way to see which way they go is if you lie them on a flat surface, they have a little dowel here sticking out. So if you lay the spring round to the little cup there, it's the same way. You can see the little cup's the same way each side, but one is the dowel sticking up and one the dowel is the other way. If you look at the trigger group now, you've taken the triggers out and they are cocked. You can dry fire them off by just pulling the trigger Bump, bump. So if you've got a, a broken mainspring, often, if you look, they would normally break somewhere about there. Sometimes you get them and they're just broken cleanly, which the gun would just not fire. And sometimes they can be just cracked, fractured, and um, the gun will still fire into miss and misfires. And it's easy to take a trigger group out and just check, you know, check the condition of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take the springs out. Obviously, if it was cracked or smashed, just be careful when you're taking them out that a bit doesn't drop out or you keep the pieces. Um, but obviously, these ones are new springs, and I'll take them out and I'll pop them straight back in. So you get this little nice little jazzy tool. That clips around like that. And as you can see, there's a spring action like that. So that just compresses the spring there. So hook it in the back of the spring. And with your thumb, you can compress it. And with this technical rod, you just flick that forward. The spring comes out. And you just lift it out. So if you can see on the spring there, there's a dowel. That dowel fits into the hole. There's nothing, nothing sort of stopping it in. It's just pressure. That fits in. Again, one-handed. Doddle. If you're looking at it and you're thinking, well, which spring's which? I'll just take that out again. If that was broken, you would see there's the dowel, right? So that's pointing up. Which spring could it be? Well, the dowel's going up that way, and the cup's the wrong way, so it's got to be that one. So it's dead easy to work out which spring is which, either top and barrel, bottom barrel, left hammer, right hammer, whichever way you, you want to look at it. So that there, in it goes. If you look, that little carrier there, which keeps the cup on, sometimes it can drop right flat, it's difficult to get out, so it's just easy. One handed, one handed to compress the spring, your other hand to flick that back, doddle. 
you can set them out the gun uncocked you can cock them I like to cock them when you put them back in cock them just with your hand and try them Total. putting them back in I'll just show you now It's exactly the same in reverse, little tongue here, it just slides into the front of the action, like that. Now I always like to have the barrels just laying on something, just so you're not holding the full weight of the full weight of the gun. I normally kind of jam the stock into my hip, just as you're doing, just so you've got something to hold on to. And I kind of pull it in this way, but just for the, the use of the camera here to show you. Safety, safe, push it forward, push it forward that little bit further. Plonk it in, done, dead easy.